One in five children will experience a mental health struggle, but Pasto Mental Health in Niagara is aiming to help those who are struggling. Great to have registered psychotherapist Aaron Clayton with us this morning wearing your plaid. Yes. Why is plaid important? Plaid, November is all about plaid for Pasto Mental Health. Plaid is about awareness and prevention, fundraising and support. And in 2019, we started a movement across the region in honor of Amelia de Roche. We lost her, sadly, to suicide, and plaid was her signature color. So we are painting Niagara plaid yet again. What it shows is we are talking about mental health. It is top of mind. So when people are wearing their plaid, we want to send a strong message that the conversation about mental health saves lives. Okay. It's it's a necessity, and we want to see everybody on the 25th of November in plaid. In plaid. How long have you been in this industry for? 28 years okay. in children's mental health. Right. What has changed over that time? So much has changed, but the biggest is stigma in the conversation about mental health. 28 years ago, we didn't talk about mental health. That one in five figure has been pretty consistent. I would say now it's one in four. And what great things are happening is we're talking about mental health and what we should be. Because when we talk about mental health, we save lives. When we don't talk about mental health, people struggle in silence and they struggle with, what do I do? How do I help? What do I need? People don't know. And they worry that they're different, that they're wrong, that they're bad. So at Pathstone, we have put a tremendous amount of effort into awareness prevention, into being prominent and visible in our community. So our website, pastelmentalhealth.ca, is loaded with resources, information. Who, who's it harder for to talk about mental health? Is it the kids, is it the parents? I think it's the parents. I think parents really struggle with knowing what to do, what to look for, and we've heard that call. And so on our website, we have created a four step, it's called the four A's. It's a process of what do you do, how do you intervene? Because parents really call us afraid, bewildered, um, we have 10 walk-in sites across our region, one at the Penn Center right now, and we did a survey and the quick results were parents were saying, we don't know how to cope with our own anxiety about how to help our kids, so how do we help our kids? What do we do? Four A's. Yes. What are they? They're be aware, ask, assist, and appreciate. So on our website, it breaks down what you do, but it's really a step-by-step -step guide for parents, caregivers, friends, anyone who's concerned about someone's mental health, it'll walk you through what you can do. Also, you can call our crisis support line 24 seven and someone will walk you through what that means. You can go on our website, there's a slew of resources. There's a quiz that will test your mental health IQ, other resources, explanations of our services, but really stressing coping strategies, awareness, intervention, and support. Are there signs? Yeah, so we talk about, so change creates distress, but the, the first is being aware. Every person experiences mental health differently. It shows up differently. So in aware, it's really being attuned. You have kids. Yeah, I have three. I have, so, so okay, so I have younger kids, yep, right? Yep. Is there a time when it starts? It's different for everybody, but what, as a parent, you know your kids, right? I know my kids, they're good kids, but there's certain days that they're not the same, they're different kids. That's right, so that's, the, that's what you hone in on. What's different? How long does it last? Is it distressing? Is it f encouraging other issues with their other functioning? You know, are they sleeping in? Are they not yeah. enjoying things as much? Are they not interacting with one another? I'm a mom, same thing, I'm watching my child every day, and there's been so much disruption, so much change, that's unsettling. Yeah, what has it done for them? I know obviously the pandemic recently, being out of school for a couple of days there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it creates disruption. It's uncertainty, what's gonna happen. You know, we're really regulated by knowing what's coming next, our routines, habits, consistency. And when things are out of our control, and that happens, we have to figure out how to be resilient. And parents are struggling too, so the pandemic is a great example. So we saw an increase in demand for our services because it was unstable and it's it's happening consistently it happens through life but that's where we're really putting effort to to be there because it might be that your child acts different for a certain period of time and it goes away but if we can support you as a parent to be in tune and be aware we don't have to necessarily go to the deep end of service we can be preventative proactive and it's right? having those conversations yes. that, that are maybe not easy to have no they're right? not they're, they're not, not easy to have so the ask is the second people say well what do i ask erin yeah. you know where do i start and it's really it's broad it's it's you know asking a, a okay. question and following the path website again for people to go pastomentalhealth.ca okay and the date for all plaid day november 25th november the 25th and 
if you're in the Penn Center, we're there. Wellness wall, wellness stalls, and a pop-up shop there. Great chatting. Okay. Good topic. Thank you. Okay, more Morning Live on your Wednesday after this.